Hi everyone, this is Michelle Wee West, and this is Driven, a series where I get to talk to some of my favorite athletes about their journeys as investors and what they think it takes to win. Joining me today is a woman who is hard to keep up with. As an athlete, she played more than 10 years professionally and was a member of the 2007 US Women's World Cup team. Today, she's an on-air analyst with Fox Soccer and Just Women's Sports a mother of three girls, and an entrepreneur as co-founder of the beauty brand Sweat Cosmetics, which is rebranding in 2023 as Hustle Beauty. Welcome, Leslie Osborne. Thanks, Michelle. Thanks for having me. I'm so yeah. excited. So we're going to dive right in. All right. First off, we got huge news. You're trying to launch an NWSL club in the Bay Area. Yeah. Can you tell me where that idea came from and how the process has been so far? Well, we finally were able to share it with the world about five months ago, but this is a project that um, myself, Allie Wagner, Danielle Slayton, and Brandi Chastain have been working on for two and a half years. <laughs> Um, I think when Angel City launched, I immediately called my partners and said, hey, we need a team here in the Bay Area. Um, and they were all on board immediately. Um, you know the Bay Area very well. We've got a ton of fans and a community that loves football. So the Bay Area is, is a place where we need to have a women's pro team. And really, the last two and a half years, us four have partnered with amazing investors and people in the tech and sports space up in Silicon Valley. And it's been a really um, amazing, crazy process trying to put together a team. It's a dream of mine um, post-retirement to be able to have and be part of an ownership group and bringing, being part of a women's professional soccer team. Yeah, I think the, the difference between having female investors and male investors, I think fem as female investors, we kind of understand yeah. the struggle, especially as, you know, retired athletes, yeah. female athletes, we know the struggle of, of female sports. Um, you know, what we went through, what we want to change, and, you know, changing the attitude of, let's just, you know, be okay with getting the scrap. Do you want to be an ambassador for our team? Because yeah, I'm like, I know, investor, owner, ambassador, because you get it. I love it. You know, when the opportunity, when I first heard the announcement, yeah. um, you know, my ears did perk up. So, you know, we'll chat. Hey, yeah, we'll we chat. will be chatting. We'll chat. <laughs> um, so what has the fundraising process been like so far? It's funny. One of our um, executives on our team is a woman named Jen Bescio. She heads up business development at Uber. Um, and one of our first phone calls with her, she said, Fundraising is going to be one of our easiest parts to building this team. And I remember being like, yeah, right. Like, fundraising in women's soccer has always been a battle. It's always been difficult to have people pump in a lot of capital and resources into women's soccer. But you know what's been really incredible is our fundraising has been very easy. Um, because we have found a lot of investors that are aligned with our mission and our values. They want to see change. They want to see women empowered. They believe in our vision. Yeah, and what are some of the most important qualities that you're looking for in an investor? And these investors are committed to being mentors. They're committed to being leaders. They're committed to helping the Bay Area be a global brand. Um, and I am super proud of the, the diverse ownership group we have. And so I think the perk of being uh, having a network of a lot of professional athletes has helped us be able to raise money quickly. But also, I think being in the Silicon Valley, we have so many female rock stars. We have women involved in Airbnb, Google, wow. Apple. I mean, these are big time tech companies that these women are leaders at. And they are investing in our team because they see the value of what women can do in this world. Um, can you tell me how Sweat Cosmetics came to be? Yeah. Sweat Cosmetics was founded in 2015. I founded it with my former uh, professional soccer player teammates. We struggled finding products that we could play 90 minutes in that if we wore sunscreen, they would burn our, it would burn our eyes, it would make us break out, but if we wore makeup, it would get orange, it would make us break out. It was like a hot mess, and there was nothing on the market for athletes. Mm -hmm. So we really went and said, okay, well, if there's nothing out there, let's go create it. Uh, it took us three years to launch, um, fundraising, going to friends and family, finding our chemist on Twitter, going to LA, having product and development meetings here. And it was so cool, but also so crazy that none of us having business background, that we would go ahead and create something, but we knew there was nothing on the market, market for active women and mm -hmm. athletes. And super proud of what we did. We were female founded, we were uh, professional athletes creating products for 
athletes. Yeah. And honestly, like as a golfer, I'm sure you would oh. you would love our products. I yeah. They're it, breathable SPF 30. Mm -hmm. They make you look somewhat put together. So then when you're doing your interviews yeah. afterwards, you look good, oh right? Tell me about it. There's so many times where you know. I, I went through a phase where I wore makeup because I'm like, I want to look pretty on yeah. camera because yeah. you're on camera. Yeah. But at the same time, you're like, my skin is breaking out. And then I'm like, I'm not going to wear makeup. And then you look at yourself on the camera yeah. on the interviews. Mess. Awful. It's, it, so, see? Oh, yeah. where were you seven years ago? I, oh. um, it's, that's exactly right. Mm -hmm. So we, we created Sweat in 2015. Um, we went into Sephora, um, Anthropology, Revolve, Dick's Sporting Goods. I mean, we did well. I mean, we were in this niche market for women who lived active lifestyles. Um, and our products were clean, they were SPF 30, they were breathable, silicone free, vegan, cruelty free, everything, and they were easy to use. They were for women that were always on the move. Yeah. And uh, we're, we're going through a rebrand right now. Um, we're changing our name a little bit to Hustle Beauty. Um, we've learned over the years that a lot of women don't like to be called athletes. They don't say, I'm an athlete. They say, I'm active, but men, if they go play hoops at the gym, are like, oh yeah, I'm an athlete. Exactly. And I think when we started Sweat, our target market was more towards athletes. Mm -hmm. And so now we're broadening our target market. So it's more for an active woman. So mm -hmm. a woman that hustles, you hustle yeah. every day. Mm -hmm. These women here hustle every day. Mm -hmm. From 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., they're going from meetings, they're taking care of their children, they're going to work out, they need to go to a happy hour, they need to go to a lunch. And who has the time right now to put together, you know, their face? It's just not realistic. And so our brand Hustle Beauty is for the woman, the average woman who has high energy and has a lot to do but low maintenance. Yeah, and was that your first time um, going after investors and securing financial? Yeah, that was our that was our first time. We did a friends and family round back in 2014. And it was so cool. All we had was like a proof of concept. And I remember going to friends and family and telling them about our idea and people being like, that's brilliant. Absolutely. And wow. we raised 300 grand very, very fast mm -hmm. just to get us off the ground with product and development and, you know, all the costs mm -hmm. that go into it. And, and fundraising, um, I would say, as you know, it, it's very, very challenging. And for Hustle Beauty, we're also fundraising right now, and a lot. We're going to raise a lot more capital that's going to go towards marketing because mm -hmm. we felt like we learned through sweat that we didn't put enough money into the marketing side of things, which we learn is massively important, especially having mm -hmm. a beauty brand. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at Viore, look at Lulu, oh, look yeah. at all these brands that women are wearing, whether or not they're working out. We want those women to be wearing our hustle products. Yeah, and so what's your favorite part about being an entrepreneur? Favorite part is no day is the same. Or you get to create something that mm -hmm. um, you have influence on. Like, I love being part of a team. I love building something and starting something from scratch and being able to put your own touch. Um, I love having co-founders. I love being able to um, break down barriers. I love being able to walk into a room with five men and being able to be confident and, you know, pitch and to um, show them how um, hard I've worked and we've worked. Um, I think that's a really in incredible story and, um, and being part of something that has never been done before. Yeah, and not only are you an amazing entrepreneur, you're also an investor. Can you talk to me briefly about some of the companies that you've invested in and, um, you know, they say invest in what you know. Has that been yeah. true for you or have you invested in different sectors that you don't know much about? Yeah, we started, my husband has um, a venture fund. We have about 14 companies in our portfolio. We started about five years ago and it's been really fun. Um, one of our former owners of my professional teams of the venture capitalists, his founders would come in and they would share their pitch and he would literally decide in five minutes if he was in or out. And wow. I'd be like, oh my God, I would ask him tons of questions. I was like, that is so cool. Like, tell me more about it. And he's like, yeah, it's the idea, but it's the person behind it, really. Um, we have some sports uh, investments, just women's sports, as you know, our Bay Area soccer mm -hmm. team, but a lot of them are tech, uh, plaid and stripe. Um, we did Robin Hood, uh, we're in Triller. 
but yeah, more heavily on the tech side of things. Um, and yeah, we're trying to you know keep diversifying our our portfolio. And um, but if I only invested in what I knew, I'd probably have yeah. investments in only sports teams and yeah. <laughs> like sports and fitness companies yeah. and nutrition companies because that's what I know. What I've learned is like there's so much more opportunity out there. Like yeah. educating yourself, learning about different sectors. Yeah. Yes, learn about the business model. Yes, learn about mm -hmm. the ecosystem. But the team is really a really important yeah. piece that you know I know my husband and his partner really focus on that we try to really spend a lot of time mm -hmm. in. Okay, so if there was a company or opportunity you wish you would have invested in, what would it be and why? I mean, I'm looking at Viore right now. I'm yeah. I I I love their mission, I love their apparel, I love what they do, but let me ask you, what what, what would be a, a company that you wish you would have invested in? Well, they always ask, what would you do if you went back in 10 years, yeah. back in time, like, I would buy a lot of Amazon yeah. stock. Oh gosh, yeah, right? <laughs> that would have been a great like, one. What would we have done having children without Amazon, too? I don't know like, either. I know. Well, thank you so much. That yeah. was so insightful. I feel so hyped about the Bay Area Club. Oh, don't too. you and worry. And Hustle yeah, Beauty yeah. as well. Yes. Um, and I learned a lot from you as well today, too. So thank you so much for taking time to chat with me and teach me about all sorts of things, being an entrepreneur. Oh my God. Well, Michelle, thank you. I followed your career. I love what you're doing. Um, you're an inspiration and a mama and everything. So thanks so much for this conversation. Thank and you. And don't worry, I'll be calling you about I know. Bay Area and Hustle Beauty. <laughs> yes, I can't wait. Okay. <laughs>